What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Here we are with Lee. We are over here in Macon and his family's pharmacy. We're going to go ahead and check in with a few people before we actually head into the back rooms. We went ahead and went outside and we seen a zombie, which looked like, I'm guessing, Lee's brother. And he said he may have the pharmacy keys on him, but we didn't go into the back rooms there. And the pharmacy keys could be back there. But it was interesting that we went out there and it did say something about that zombie. And, well, that's definitely Lee's brother. And we know that Lee's family got hauled off in here too. So his whole family seems to be, you know, done in by zombies, friends. But what we're going to do is let's check in with everybody to make sure, you know, we got stuff going on. And then we have Glenn that's out and about doing something. He said something about siphoning gas. But he could be out there getting other supplies and stuff too. So that's just like Glenn to do some stuff like that, huh? All right, let's check How in. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? You know, I I just don't really want to go back outside, Doug. Not now. All right. Did you see his shirt? Is that was that a fucking was that a polar bear with antlers? All right, let's check in with Carly. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this Larry fella. He did seem like he's unhinged, friends. He's wild, crazy. But if we can help him and get pills, we should definitely try to. You know what I mean? We can't leave the man, you know, fucking turn into a zombie probably. Eat us all. Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. So, everyone's probably good. But I just want to make sure, you know what I mean? I want to be very thorough with talking to people here. Because the options at the top of the screen, Clementine will remember that. Doug will remember that you went outside and bonded with fucking zombies around. You know what I mean? Just certain things like that. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, well, Clementine is good. Let's see if old Lerald... Old Leris, Larry... Lenny, whatever the hell we're gonna call him. Lily. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, Larry's like two feet into the grave, friends. He's almost about, about to croak over. We went hard on the old man. Hey, guys. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You, you got see it. The, you see them prices back there? Cream soda, 150? It's gotta be dollar fifty. you know what I mean? Alright, let's go in the back, friends. I don't think there's anything else unless we're missing something. We got her with the radio, I think it's good. We don't have anything else alive inside? Oh. You know, I just, my heart really hurts for Lee, friends. He's, you know, his whole family's gone. And we're right here in the shop, the Iron Man. I can't. I can't think about them in here. There's blood everywhere. The music is really great. And I see we have Clementine here. What's up, Clem? Can we talk to her? How you doing? Okay. Is everything okay? You heard from Glenn? Yeah, everything okay? Everyone out there seem alright to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Anything for you, Clem? Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, well, let's look around for these keys. It looks like this is barred here, but, I mean, the zombies can knock that the fuck over. This door leads to the back alley. I mean, that's where they got hauled off. Oh, terrible, friends. We got, oh, something here we can pick up. My pets came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of those hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That seems like a father. 
Caring fathers, friends. Throwed herself out there in harm's way. There's a photo over there. There's a photo over there? Did we get it? We have all their stuff. Oh, we can get that out the way. Hey, Clem, you good? Let's not go back. Let's look at this photo here. Interesting. Keep that photo, Lee. Find anything? Family photo to the picture. It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? I mean... No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you, thanks. How can I trust you? The thing is, there was no option to say that we did. Because, I mean, we did tell people that this is our family's place. At least Kasha, Kenny. Thanks. Don't worry about it. You think she likes Lee? She seems like she might. I mean, we did, like I said, we did tell people that we were tied to this place, but it didn't give us an option to say, yeah, I mean, yes, we did tell people. But Lee killed a senator that was sleeping with his wife. Oh my God, Lee. That just don't get easy for you, man. That's terrible. So I wonder, what happened to his wife then? He walked in on him and killed the senator probably? Oh, that's terrible. Lee, you're having a hard time of it, aren't you? First aid kit. First aid kit, huh? Let's uh, look at that. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, nothing you need in there? All right, well, let's see. We got stuff to move over here. Oh. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Clear a path to opening that door? Anything for you, Lee? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. At least too nice of a guy to be caught up in that craziness. I feel like I just keep saying it, but I just feel for you, Lee. I really do, friends. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. He's a really good guy. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How you doing? <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? Let's keep moving. What do your parents do? 
What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. He's trying to avoid it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead? I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. So I figured to say that, you know, tell the truth to Clementine, you know what I mean? Instead of, you know, lying to her. The option, I killed someone, <laughs> even Lee didn't want to say that. But. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's go get her, uh, band-aid, Lee? How about if I press here? Ow! Big Ow or Little Ow? Um, Medium Ow. Okay, well, it's not broken. Let's... There was like a... A first aid kit, wasn't there? Yeah, right here. Oh, a TV! Band-aid! Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us? I don't think they will. You know, I just don't think they will, Clem. Sorry Me? to say. Wait, wait, hold on, thinking. I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Clementine and Lee bonding moments, friends. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Put a band-aid on it, Lee. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. He's over here squeezing it. Alright, well, how are you now, Clem? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Anything else? Is this rehashing of what she already said? Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah, well... Maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Alright, so that's definitely rehashing. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We've already heard that. I mean, there's the office. Maybe. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, a remote for the TV. Interesting. Is it on the floor somewhere? Oh, let's check the drawers. Well, there we go. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Turn it on, Lee. 
Let's see about watching some cartoons or something, you know? Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. <laughs> Your dad's watching his stories? <laughs> That's what I figured. Alright, well, we got a remote now, friend. I think, yeah, we actually kept the remote and the picture. Alright, Clem, well... That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Let's go in, then. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh. Well, let's... I don't think there's anything else here. Can we take this cane and whoop some people's ass with it? Oh, that's going back into the pharmacy. Alright, well, there seems to be nothing else here. The keys are on a zombie outside, so we're going to have to go back and possibly try to go outside. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't as complicated Yes, he was. I mean, let's not lie to her. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? Clementine is understanding, friends. She's okay with us killing someone, I guess. <laughs> All right, hey well there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright, well... Should we head out? Let's talk to Clem once more. I... Heh. <laughs> How's your finger? Yeah. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. You check on Clementine, so... Can we check on the other people now, too? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Well, now we double-checked on Clementine. Well, actually, let's say triple, quadruple. You good? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. They're probably good, friends. All right, let's go to Harley. Get the hell out of here. I mean, you think Kenny's okay? Let's check on Kenny, huh? Let me check on Kenny. Kenny, you all right, man? How are you, Kenny? Duck is... I feel terrible for the boy. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got okay. It. So we can't skip dialogue, friends. That seems. All right. Well, let's go to Carly and talk to her. Dog, how the hell are you doing, friend? Take it easy. Enjoy the. Look at him. He's just staring outside. He's so worried. Carly, let's head out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. I feel like everyone's good, Clem. She's good, it seems. So let's go save Glenn. <laughs> what do you say he was pinned down by zombies? Did 
you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Glenn's got a damsel in distress. You know, out of all of that, what worries me is the guys coming out of the woods. Where'd they go? I guess they didn't see Glenn. They came out and then rolled out. Possibly? That's scary because... Think about it. In times like okay, this... This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh. Well, anyways, what I was saying is times like this, the people are probably just as crazy as the zombies, friends. Peek over the wall. Peek too long to see. Oh, he's creeping. She's creeping. Did you see that? I smell something. All looking around. I smell me and Lee. Alright, so... Oh, so we can run to that. Interesting. Oh, man. Hey, Carl, Where you right? to next? I don't know. How you doing, Glenn? We got... Something there. We can hide by that pickup. Hide by the pickup? See, the thing is, what are we gonna... What are we gonna kill this oh, zombie man. with? She's oh. eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Where's this going? So we can go to a truck here. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. But what would that do? What are we gonna kill the zombie with? She's got a gun, but we gotta be quiet. Let's let's go to the car. Oh, oh shit. Oh, screwdriver. Hold on. There we go. We got something, friends. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. And then we have her eating somebody. Let's... Hold on. How are we going to get this window? We can't just break the window, can we? Let's keep looking around. Right above us, guys. You need to find a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Oh, yeah. Let's keep looking around. Hey, okay. We need to find a weapon, friends. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Break it? The only other option. Ow! Hey, man. That drew some attention. Be careful. What do you want me to do? Hmm. He's not going anywhere. Can we get into... Hmm. I don't feel like breaking the... I don't think breaking this window would be a good idea. Maybe we should... So we need this. Breaking that window could be a bad idea. So, look, shit happens. You see that? Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Yeah. Let's head back to the wall. Hmm. There has to be something we can do here, friends. I mean, we can go over and try to kill this zombie, but what are we going to kill it with? Let's... 
Let's go over here. I guess. Not good. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Oh, there's a zombie over there. We're gonna have to go back. I think the only option for us is to break that window. Hmm. Now what makes me wonder... Let's go back. What if there's anything in the... In the back? Yeah, there's... If we break the window, they're going to be coming at us. I just have a feeling. What are we missing here? We're missing something, friends. What can we do with this? Do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. Well, how are we going to kill him? We can't get that one. We can't get... We have nothing but... I think the only thing we honestly can do is break that damn window. There's a pick in the truck. There is a pick in the truck. Anything else on the ground to pick up? Doesn't look like nothing. Alright, Lee, break it. I'm trying to punch out windows. Oh, okay. I'm done trying to punch the window. See, if you go up, it just puts you right here. We're missing something here, friends. There's kind of nowhere else to go. So let's go back over here, I guess. I don't know. Is there something to pick up somewhere that we're missing here? Oh. Right in front of my fucking face. Pillowcase. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I must have missed that like 70 times. Not really what you had in mind. I think I have an idea. Put a pillowcase over the thing? And then break the window? Oh. Oh. Hold on here. We can use the pillow on this guy? What's the pillow gonna do then? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! <laughs> we can push the car? Hey Glenn, you alright? have to be careful with your ride up on ramps like this. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. Oh, no. Let's open the door. Oh, here we go, spark plug. Look at a spark plug there. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. It's a spark thing. <laughs> oh shit! We're about to push the coat. It's a spark thing. Well, can we maybe put it into the engine? Oh, shit. Oh, hold on here. You spark plug on the window? Will that make a difference in noise? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. <laughs> Alright, well here we go. We got a weapon. I'm about to wolf some ass. Let's that do it. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's fucking do it. I'm going back to that one. This fucking pillowcase was right there the whole time. I'm over here. What should we do? I don't know what to do. 
Come on, Carly. Let's look it. Oh, hold on. Let's get the ones over there, head upstairs, and get out of here. Sure. Let's get the ones over there, head upstairs, and get out of here. Come on, I'm gonna whoop it. <laughs> Sit down, mother ever. Was there another one over here? What's up, girl? I hope that girl's okay. <laughs> I hope that girl's okay. Oh, I'm about to fuck him up, friends. Here we go. Hey, man, how are you? You looking cool? Now you're dead. Oh. That was pretty closely. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Glenn is having a blast. What's up, Glenn? Another weapon, man. Well, there's a fucking axe right there, Glenn. We're about to go shining style on his mother efforts. Two more. That should help. Look at Lee. He is ready. He is ready. What's up, Glenn? You have more? Upstairs. I gotta go deal with him. She's got the gun now, man. We're gonna go up here and whoop these zombies' asses. Let's do it. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Oh man, this is freaky. I'm getting chills, friends. I'm getting scared. We got this, Lee. Come on. Get up these scares. Stairs. Scares. Get up the scares. Oh, man. We're just going to walk up to him. Hey, Lee here. How are you? I need some tea. I'm a teacher. Hi. How are you? That was pretty close. Holy. Almost got us. You're right, Lee. Way to go. <laughs> Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. She's boarded up from the outside, friends. You might want to break through that board first. All right, Glenn. Anything for you? Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave you. Come with us. We'll get help. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her? You can't have the gun? We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. 
And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Holy. Shit! Here they come! Get in! That went pretty south pretty Everyone quick. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. That just... You know, I just didn't want her to kill herself. I know it's people's choice in these times, but... I just want it... You know? Was hoping... I don't know what I was hoping. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I just don't know what I was hoping there, friends. I mean, I know that you... I mean, I don't know if there's a cure for this stuff in the game. It's not like we're gonna have it right here and there. But I just... It's not a hard decision. I don't want to see somebody do that. I didn't want to see that at all. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. I don't even think he's coherent, Kenny. He's hurting. All right, so Ken's good and his family's good. Lily seems to be okay. Clementine, you all right? Thank God you didn't come with us there, Clementine. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's talk to... We got Glenn. Let's talk to Carly. Oh, we can't get over that way. Actually, you know, let's talk to Glenn first. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back in the motor inn? Back at the motor inn. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? I mean, people can't be given up yet. Yeah, you can't be given up yet, Glenn. People can't be given up this will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Do you know the combination? What's your next move? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Try to get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> you alright, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Just checking in on your gland, making sure you're okay. Was Clementine good? Did we call the Clementine? Yeah. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, friends, I just had to click on everyone all the time, nonstop. Carly. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. 
Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Anything else? Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, well, Douglas, let's go outside again. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Look at this shirt, friends. Let's have a look around. <laughs> okay. I love it. You got a cool shirt, Doug. I need to get me one of them. <laughs> All right, so we have things here. We should search that guy over there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Motherfucker, I have the, you know, it looks like we have a picture. So... I can't reach that brick. <laughs> What's the remote gonna do? <laughs> hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. <laughs> How else are we gonna... That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Hey, he did save Carly. Doug, you're alright, man. You're alright. I'm them to take notice. But not enough. Damn. So, we need to open this lock somehow here. Oh, here we go. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Alright, well... Distract them, but I can't reach that brick. We need to get this off here, so let's go ahead and just break it. Awesome. Now to distract those things. We're gonna distract carefully. Them. There's this brick here. I can't reach that brick. do with a brick so we can throw it at one of them oh i think i got it yeah throw it at this definitely and leave from downtown baby see ya Now is the time. Let's run. All ass. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Motherfucking Lee, you better run! Fucking dumb, keep it down. Sorry I wasn't there. Should have left. I'm sorry, man. I'm 
I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him tomorrow, that helped. Aim for the head, Lee. <laughs> Terrible, friends. Put an axe to his own brother. was close but we did it it's all that matters I've got the keys great god you're amazing let's get in there hey how you doing all right, what I'm going to do? Oh, you know, let's just open it. Is she? You just go right here and open it. That's it. I can't talk to her. All right, well, no point in taking an axe to it. Gotta hurry. That's that's definitely not good. That's the alarm that's gonna be on outside too. Oh no. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Nice. Right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Did you find anything? Nothing! 
Hang it, Lee. I found something. The cane. Save Doug or Carly? Doug! She's got the gun though. She can save Doug. Come on, come on, come on. Clem. You're not covered in this, you son of a bitch! No! <laughs> Shit! Come on, Lee! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Poor Doug. Oh, this game is gonna crush me. I didn't want to see any of them go. I thought she could save him, though, you know? Really rough, Bronze. It's like we have to pick, you know? You have to pick. Uh, you know, Doug seemed like a really awesome guy, and he would have been a great asset probably to the group because he was so smart. I just figured she had the gun, she could shoot the one on the floor and then help Doug. Yeah, but it was ultimately a pick or choose right there between the two. Oh. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think I see the what's going on from the people that's in the books, show and stuff. I feel like they're just cameos. You know what I mean? I think that's the wrong call. You gotta do what you gotta do. Find your friends. You know what, Glenn? Find your friends, man. If that's what you want to do, we're not gonna tell them otherwise. You know what I mean? Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. I miss you, Glenn. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Can you just look over there? See you later, pizza guy. Walker bait. 
I'm going to miss Glenn, friends. I'm going to miss him. But I'm thinking people that are from, you know, like I said, book show, they're probably cameos because, you know, the game probably ain't going to kill them off. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Ken, Ken grew some friends, and he came back for us, picked this up, killed that zombie, and you know he didn't he didn't fight this time. He actually fought, and he seemed pretty good in there, telling people you know giving them ideas on you know not like ideas. He was commanding them, and it got it helped. I would think. Where are we gotta go? Oh, Carly, or a girl? Sorry about dog. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, did... Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. I thought you needed the help. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. I mean, I really thought that we can get them, get them both. I don't think this game's going to allow us to get two people or whatever we have to do. Like, one or the other. Duck is just talking her ear off. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like, pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Did you check the glove I'm box? sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. Can you just look over I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. If I left you Glenn had the other planet. one. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Oh, we I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Her dad tried to kill me. She's fine. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We 
got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> you had light. You don't have it now. So, that was... I got a heated there, Dan. I feel so terrible for Doug still. Pick, you, you pick them, it seems, friends. One or the other. Next time on The Walking Dead. Oh, that was the first episode then. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Teddy's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Holy moly! That's episode two. Oh, I can't believe we got done the first episode. So quick. Wow. Lied. Oh, okay. What is this? Honesty. Lied to Herschel. You and 46% of players lied. Did we lie? I thought we told Herschel the truth. What did we lie about? I don't think we lied at all to Herschel. Did we not? We literally told him everything. I don't remember Herschel's full conversation, but we always, yeah, we told him the truth. Everything that was true, we told him. We told him that we were in a cop car. We told him our name. Maybe there was some kind of option. I don't know. I got to, you know, kind of want to go back and see it now to understand where we lied. Though at one point, Herschel said something about, hold on. I'm thinking it was the option... My intention wasn't to lie to him, but I think I may have picked the wrong choice because there was something with Herschel that made me think after I said it. It was something about how did you get out of Atlanta? And we said we were on our way out anyway, and the timing of this just happened to be great. And he said, huh, if the timing for Apocalypse is ever good or some, something like that. I think that's what it was. But there was another option to say we were driving. We were on... We were getting a ride, so we probably should have said that. That may have been... See, that was kind of a misconception option there, and that's probably why 46% of people actually lied to him. <laughs> and then, who would you save? Duck or Sean? You and 52% of players chose Duck. Okay, this is really cool. Everybody, this is everyone's choices here. Side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 53% of players refused to give her the gun. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and 49% of players chose Carly. Well, that's pretty even. I mean, I, like I said, I really felt that we could save Carly and then Carly could shoot off the walkers that was on Doug, but that wasn't the choice. But wow, very interesting. What a game, huh? What a game, friends. Well, there we go. That was the first episode of The Walking Dead. When we come back, we will get into episode two what was it called a new no the, this episode was called a new day starving for help it looked like the the next episode but wow what a game what choices like i feel just on the edge of my seat all the time and then with these choices it feels so heart-wrenching i feel like this game is really going to get dire because these characters are actually really well written so far and i have a feeling that if we maybe pick up more people or just the people that we have, we're gonna get pretty attached to these characters. And then it seems like this game has a trend in left or right. You pick one or the other, it doesn't seem like both can survive. But 
let's not think like that. Because the moment we think that both can survive or we can't help both people, it's the moment that we'll probably be able to help both people. You know what I mean? So let's let's just keep going. But well, really digging this game a lot. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.